Howdy y'all, it's your host Road. Welcome back to Love It Games. We're playing on Life is Strange 2. Uh, in the last episode we went, found Daniel, we got the shit beat out of us in a church, we got a gun pulled on us, and a woman faked her injury to try to convince Daniel to stay with her. So, on this episode, we're gonna figure out what we can do, cause old mom just randomly showed up. After we had a gun pulled on us. And the shit beat out of us. So, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section. And, uh, we're gonna see what we can do to these, uh, corrupt church people. Because no one ever act that way. That is, if the game's not going to crash, because it just crashed again. Alright, we repair the installation again. We're going to try this again. Did a repair the installation. Reduced all the graphic settings. I looked up online and apparently there are 49 posts on the Steam page about how this game randomly crashes on them from episode 2 forward. So it's a known issue, not just us. Dude, he's got the shit beat out of him. Yeah, you said that you're well, boxers. All right. Man. Didn't clean the pain away, but... Mold. Oh, that felt good. Damn. You look bad. Gotta change that dressing soon. Should have already changed it. Let's do it four times a day. Karen seems to be on the move quite often. All right. Wonder how long Karen has been here. Did she see one of Daniel's? So Karen did check it out. Wonder if she saw Daniel in that kind of pretty. Wonder if she made it. I know I shouldn't peek, but glad to know she learned the lesson. Karen did her own road trip to get here. Rancheros, red style, apple pie. Red chicory coffee. Can't read what that says. Turning forward to look back, making the same choice twice. Twice, my solo two days and dreamy nights just to find myself looking back to turn back. Looking forward to turn back. Damn. Karen does like to capture the world around her. Tracing closer every mile, my heart goes racing sore. I remember knowing the feeling, no fighting back, no beating, tearing apart my core. Early morning blues, coffee, red-eyed truckers, sad families, bad eggs. Not the waitress's fault. She is quick, hurried one, probably ending a long night shift. Tag says Clementine, 22, a shred hair, eyed brunette, eyes, skin tone, don't lie, Irish descent, owner's daughter, maybe, Mahoney's fake, light smile, busy mind, mild, clumsy, looks distracted, anxious. Young cook called Clemmy, brother, boyfriend, boyfriend, apologize when the orders are late. She's the one getting roasted. Do mom and dad know you're dating on the job, Clemmy? 
Makes him work in love, selling him makes a good match. That's the brand new baby bump under the strained apron. It's 2017, young folks are still busy making babies. I guess nothing really changes. Roadmap. This country is just way too big. Drawer. You know, took him. After what happened with Finn, I should never gamble again. I really should finish reading this someday. You should. Everyone should read it once. Karen's note, tablet. Look at that in a second. Karen was always into low tech. I even think it's the one she had back then. We've come a long, long way, buddy. Huh. This isn't her tablet. Struggles with too many open apps, but it should be okay if you're basic browsing geo. Okay, password is 112708. Hope you find your son. Be right back. <sighs> we'll find out. Popped out for supplies. Grab some food in case you want to eat. New socks and shorts in the bathroom. All yours if they fit. Maybe a good time to contact Jacob. His number's on the letter he sent. Be right back. Jeez. It only <laughs> took Supermom eight years to give a shit. Dear Mrs. Diaz, my son Jacob has and I work for your sons, Sean and Dana, on the farm in California. There were some problems and Sean went missing. I'm with Daniel now in Haven Point, Nevada. He gave me the P.O. Box address so I could get this to you. I think Daniel might be in danger. He needs help to get out of here. I can tell you more if you contact me at this number. 775-555-0118. Please hurry. Jacob. Can we use the tablet? Before we do that. This place is quite remote. Good. At least nobody will be looking for me here. Yeah, I can draw. I got a few moments to myself, so let's practice. I wonder who lives around here. It's so wild and huge. And it's life in the desert. Wild and huge. Okay. Just draw now. Don't think of If you don't add details, this would make no sense. <laughs> I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. I could see myself stopping by this motel during a road trip. <laughs> Taking a dip in the pool after a long ride. <sighs> These mountains really inspire me. <sighs> All right. Back to reality, dude. All right, look outside. Aaron's note. This thing is killing my back. I got bruises on my bruises. Well, I got that. Oh. Uh, you read racist dickhead. Oh, we already read that one. I got picked up by a trucker. There we go. Hey, Daniel's been brainwashed by a cult. He wants to stay with them. I fucked up with the Reverend. I might have just fell into her trap. I'm so stupid. Also, Karen, what the fuck is she doing here? How'd she find us? Don't want to get away from her. Don't want anything from her. Nada. 
Why is this still telling me to come over here? Alright. Huh. This isn't her tablet. One, one, two, seven, oh, eight. Yay. Technology. She came prepared. Welcome to the new universal, or new life at the Universal Uprising Church, Haven Point. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit, teach them to obey everything I command you, and truly, I am with you always, very end. Lesson from the Reverend. The Reverend Mother doesn't look too humble. Looks like a roach motel. But... Nobody will find me there. Why not? Okay. Not what I was trying to do. Hey, I'm trying it back. There we go. Doesn't look like any of that will help me. Karen was always into low tech. Can I not call from that? I even think it's the one she had back then. Uh, I can call from this phone. Hello? Jacob, it's me, Sean. Yeah. Where are you? You have to come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Good. Listen, I, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Brandy Highway. There's a, a, a junction just above Haven Point. There's a, a, a wild mice ranch billboard there. I'll be there at four. Jacob, wait! I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. There's a lot more going on there than we know. Damn. He couldn't really talk. All this is so messed up. Any grub up in here? Like, I mean, it is right after Thanksgiving. I mean, you can I'm food. so drained. I guess we'll just wait over here. Could call Layla. Lila. Let's just rest while I wait for her. If she comes back. Hey, sorry it took so long. Fucking store was packed. How are you feeling? Nothing broken? Alter boys don't fight fair? Yeah. No, they don't. Okay. You gotta Double burn that dude down. No onions. Right? That'll do. Hey, she's trying, man, even though she abandoned you. Got you some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff for your eye. Mm. Hey, don't wolf that down. Make yourself sick. At least take a breath. <sighs> like you care. Sean, I do. <sighs> Come he is on, your Karen. madre. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple of years ago, he didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. I'm listening. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? 
dad taught you responsibility. He always wanted us to know how to take care of each other. Good. How did you go to Beaver Creek? You know, I don't have to answer your questions, right? Don't be a dick. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did and why, if you care. So ask me anything. That's a loaded question. All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years, but I was unhappy, and the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices, right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. Felt like an empty shell. Sean. Postpartum depression? I, ever made. I knew I might never see you all again, but I took that responsibility. It was literally right after Daniel was born. Did Dad know about all of this? I was honest with your father. We did family therapy, but it wasn't about him. It was me. He was heartbroken for months after you left. Years. I was too. I was in love with your father. He was the best person I ever met. But just not enough for you. Something was missing from the equation, yeah. I was. So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. Oh, it's there's more than there. there. Arizona's beautiful. New York didn't really do me good, so... Yeah, okay. New York, you make it or you don't. I didn't have a choice, Sean. We only have one life. And I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years, I fooled myself. Thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be. And that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. For what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. I know you are. Kid. Gotta forgive her, move on. You only got one this parent left. The way I feel. Of course not. I know I can't change the past, Sean. I don't think you would. I need some air. Don't be a dick. Talk to your mom. Got a plan on how to get your brother out of the cult. Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's just get it all out in the open. See what happens. You really should. So, did you ever actually miss us? Or dad? Of course, Sean. I do miss your father. 
He had such a big heart. He could play for rainy days. That was like his superpower. But above all, I miss watching you grow up. See how you saw the world. I miss sharing these moments with you, Sean. We used to do so much. We used to do so much stuff. Like when you taught me to ride because Dad sucked. Or when we went camping near Vancouver. Just me and you. You always loved night skies. I did stargaze a lot when I was in California. Trust me, the further south you go, the better it gets. What did you do? So... What did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess that all happens. this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people. And I totally respect that. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans, which is what most of modern life is about, right? School, job, marriage. That's my mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. Oh, I tried, but I wanted to find my own way with no security blanket. Everyone has to find their own way. Social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. Don't put her down. Yeah. She's already low. Hope it was worth it. It was. For now, I've found my place in the world with like minded people. I'm at peace with my fuck ups and my decisions. How do you make peace with bailing on your parents, your husband, and your kids? Don't be a dick. It's hard to understand. But I think people should know who they are. Not fake it for anybody. Why ghost us? I get you wanted to leave and stuff. Okay. But why would you ghost us like that? Not That's a good question. Card. I just... I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. You should have. I almost did. But you wanted a clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. He left before he was one. You hurt him worse. I wasn't so lucky. Cool plan, Mom. You hurt Daniel way worse. He thought you took off because of him. I know. I hope I can make it up to you, Daniel, someday. I can start by getting his ass out of that church. Cult. Whatever. That definitely was a cult. John well, was right calling it the Golden Lamb so at that time. You shouldn't realize, worship a it's person. Like I can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. That's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. Don't ask anything, ask for smoke. Hey, um... Mind if I bum a smoke? Sure. Still got a few left. You should tell her what actually happened to your dad. She well, was up front with you. I haven't seen that lighter in ages. Dad loved that thing. I know. Only thing I have left of his. Oh man. 
Esteban hated when I smoked. He didn't want me to die an early death. Fuck. Life can be so cynical sometimes. I remember he would smoke sometimes. Long ago. We didn't fight much, but when we did, I would go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down. Esteban would come over and ask for a drag. And then we'd just look up at the sky and watch the stars or the planes. I do miss that. I used to do the same with my best friend, Lila. Sitting on the porch, just letting time go. That's when you know someone is good to you. When you can just sit together. Yep. Shut the hell up and watch the universe do its own thing. That is so true. Well, I guess he's forgiven his mom and all is good and we'll go on with happily ever outside. after. I gotta change this dressing. Okay. Let's go. Got some ranch, blue cheese, mayonnaise, miracle whip, kind of dressing. Sean, I know I can't change the past. Or what I did. But this is about helping your brother. You gotta trust me this one time. It does not. There it goes. I'll say it. I know. It's still hard. But yes. We have to be a team to rescue Daniel. We can do it. Okay. How? We need to get in touch with this Jacob. He obviously knows a lot more than us about the church. Well, I called him when you were out. We can meet with him tomorrow. Okay, good. I also got these, just in case. Walkie-talkies. Okay. Better take care of the eye. So, do you need any help with that? Yes. Yes. Thanks. So, you feel like telling me the story here? Totally should. She needs to know what happened. When we have time. Your padre. Daniel. Are you missing an eye? The fact that you're both wanted across four states. Not even the states that I would think they'd be looking. Washington. California, Nevada, Oregon. You think that would have won a national bulletin? And right in the eye socket. Here, try this on. He got him his own pirate eye patch. Enjoy Chloe Price's pirate crew. How do I look? Great. Thank you, Karen. You should be honest, like a fucking Big pirate. Tomorrow, so we should get some rest. Yeah. I'm ready to get Daniel. This is probably going to be an explosive next bit. I can only imagine.
Sure he's gonna show up? He better. He promised. Well, if he doesn't find us, we'll find him. I can't believe how much crap you guys have been through. I can't believe you never contacted him once. Makes me want to punch in the face each and every asshole that got in your way. Yeah. Good thing we got to meet amazing people, too. Life on the road is all about that. The sweet encounters. Hope I can see them again someday. Oh, you will. So tell me about Daniel. What's he like? Uh, he's special. Well, he's definitely special. Hope so. He's your brother, right? Heads up. Is that him? Yep. Wait here. You honestly just introduce the two. You need a Sean, badass hat now. What happened? Can you explain what were you thinking? Jake, I'm not mad, but you better explain everything. I didn't know where else to go. Listen, I, I saw Daniel come back to the camp that night. Like he was in shock or something. Then I heard all these sirens and I got scared. I just, I packed a few things, I, I took a blanket from your tent, and we, we left together. I also kept the cash you made on the farm. Uh, it's in my car. You did right. You did right, Jake. Thank you. You should have took all of the cash from the safe. Daniel should have. He was in bad shape, with a gunshot wound, and all by himself. I... I, I couldn't just leave him there. What about the others? Hannah, Cassidy, Penny? What happened to them? They ran over to Merrill's place when they found out Finn was gone. That was the last time I saw them. Then on our way out here, Daniel told me more about what happened that night. How scared he was the blast daniel feels he's got to redeem himself for what he did i need to get to him jacob i'm the asshole who went along with the robbery i'm telling you to be careful with the reverend mother she's waited her whole life for somebody like daniel the reverend knows how to manipulate people she's good at this he wants to stay with her. Yeah, he does. Daniel has faith in the Reverend now. Yeah, not afraid of that Lisbeth of yours. I'm getting Daniel out of here. Uh, come on. There's no way they're going to let you take him away. Well, too bad. We're not going to ask for their permission. You must be Jacob. I'm Karen. Hi. Okay, I don't know if you want to do this, but I, I have an idea. I think school must be over by now, but Lisbeth will stay at the church with Daniel for his special classes. That'll give us time to sneak into the compound before we get to them. I'll be on the lookout. Keep watch in case it all goes to shit. Sean, stay on the walkie. Sounds like a plan. One more thing. I, uh... We have to get my sister, too. Sarah Lee. Really, Jacob? She Come needs rescuing. Now. She's with your parents. I know. Please, listen, Sean. She's not safe here. She's sick. They believe in everything Lisbeth says. And she says she'll cure Sarah with prayers. I know you understand. Right? Damn, Jake. We need his help too, Sean. So they're Christian scientists. They don't believe in medical help. Okay, Jake. I'm listening. Lisbeth knows what's wrong with Sarah Lee. We just, we need to find her medical record. I think it's in her home office. Then I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Okay? Fine. 
Sure. I'm gonna trust you on this, Jacob. All good for you, Karen. What if Daniel won't go with you? He will. Especially once he finds out Karen's with him. <clears throat> It'll be the only way that he'll go with him is with his mom being with him. That's a wide turn there, guy. This is about to probably be more climactic than the last episode. We're busting into her house. Her compound, as he put it. Karen? Got it. Thanks. We gotta be careful now. If anything happens, let me do the talking, okay? Yeah, of course. All right. Let's get this over with. Okay. Elizabeth's house is right behind the church, so in and out. Okay. And you sure Elizabeth will have those files on your sister? Watch out, Sean. There are people right outside. Oh, shit. How many? Got it. Thanks. People aren't supposed to come and go around the church once the service is over. Better to avoid them if we can. That looks like your dad and sister. Between Q and the thing. Alright. So, did you grow up out of here? No. In another community back east. When Elizabeth came out here to start Haven Point, my folks followed her and brought me along. Hmm. Must have been hard on you. Kinda. Eight-year-olds don't want to go to church all day. No. How are we supposed to get in if there are a woman sitting in front of the door? Karen, everything all right? Yeah, don't worry about me. I found the best hiding spot. Her view is kind of great. Cool. Be careful, though. You never know. Um, how am I supposed to get there with her there? Oh, is it this one over here? I was about to ruin my whole thing. Okay, there it is. Looks empty. <sighs> Let's hope so. We just go through the front door? Us, we never close our door. A closed door is a closed heart, she says. No one's in sight. Good. Is this Daniel's room? Alright, so he found yeah. Daniel's room. When we get by through here, not look like it. Oh. Be nice if I could call or call a uh, run. I can't call Karen. Where is she? Uh, she has to be up on the mountain. Definitely a cult compound. So he wanted us to go into her office or something. Can't believe Daniel really lives in this depressing house. Oh, we did it. Now we have a little bit more time. Yes, we do. 
Nice work. So where are the files? Right there, in her office. Ugh. Of course it's locked. Her open door speech is just another lie. We gotta find a way in. Fuck. Think there's a key somewhere? Maybe she's too cautious not to have a spare set around. Hi. <sighs> Whoa. Hmm. Lizbeth sure likes to be on pictures. Are you okay, Jake? Yeah. Evenings in here must be so it's much fun. So full of memories and stuff. Damn. This is so artless. Creepy. I've been in a cult member's house before. That was weird. The moat and the bean. Patient Liz for Fisher, prescription antibiotics for yeast infection twice daily, FLA for stress, anxiety, refills allow. Coaxing lesson one. Get Daniel his favorite cereal. Whoa. This it, place is worse than army camp. Daniel's house out of chores. Make bed every morning. Clean dishes after every meal. Vacuum hall room weekly. Take out trash Monday. Wash air every two days. Help with Sunday laundry. Count your blessings daily. Mm, might be enough to open that door. Oh, uh, we, we don't want to be loud. This is a lot of pills. Especially for someone who doesn't believe in science. Daniel's haircut makes much more sense now. Take a double decker. Poop in the top of the toilet. <sighs> Nothing here. Does she even believe in any of this? Nothing interesting. Nice prison view, dude. I swear, even her bed looks stern. Yeah, that will definitely... Okay, what the... She's yeah. completely obsessed with his power. Daniel, a little tired of you using gift. Nothing gives him energy after a new diet. He acts as long scripture more impelling, more power, prayer, more study. Daniel's pouty today after lesson. Spare the rod, spoil the child. Not yet. Show grace, trust in the Lord. I did cry today watching the miracles. The child must be a vessel. Hopefully he deliver on to us and win. Hopefully you're death. I already killed you people. Okay, I found a key. Good. Let's try it. Oh, shit. Looks like the Reverend Mother got to this letter before Jake. Jacob, thank you so much for telling me about Daniel. I'm on my way to heaven point. Please don't let Daniel know without getting him or you in trouble that his family has not forgotten him. I don't know where Sean is, and I hope we can find him too. I hope for the best. If you need anything, don't hesitate. I'm there. Take care of Karen. What a great fucking family portrait. She sure likes to gaze at her own success. Don't see anything of interest. Fill her cigarettes. Whoa. They kicked her out of church? Now they're thirsty. Dear Reverend Fisher, this is Michael Bloom. I know it's been a long time since we last talked, but I know that our talk was an unhappy one. Despite our differences, we all know that... You are a devout spirit to be reckoned with. Nobody has been surprised by your words or deeds touching so many people. I hope you believe it when I say I, I say we are all proud of you. But we are also sorry and ashamed for asking you to leave the church without understanding the power of your faith. As we need to remind ourselves, mistakes can be life lessons. Even prideful deacon should be humbled before the Lord's wisdom. We hope you find in your heart to forgive us, and we would be honored to host you for a visit anytime you wish, Mike. Is this Daniel's room? 
Yeah. Man. It's depressing. Well, Elizabeth doesn't believe in material possessions, so... Doesn't mean you need to decorate your house like a prison. We'll check this out after we do the office. Er. We'll just look real quick. Is she forcing him to do this? Why is he accepting all that? He looks happy. Fuck. Happy birthday, Daniel. Shit. People are really all over his power. So much for secrecy. This is quite the change from power, Baron friends. What cults do to you? No matter what happened, I guess Finn was a real friend to Daniel. The Book of Daniel. So much for hot dog, man. <laughs> They're so cute. I didn't see this earlier. What is this? Daniel Fisher? Oh, no. No, that's total. <sighs> Locked, of course. All right, we're gonna go check the office. Must be a way to break it. Fry key. Yes, that's the one. Oh, perfect. Whoa. Is this her personal archive or something? Yeah. She keeps track of everything in here. Stuff about my sister must be in this one. Okay, I've got something. Must be what you're looking for. Damn. She has pneumonia? And a yeast infection. And for what I get... Elizabeth knows damn well she needs medical treatment. That's criminal. She's insane. Look, she has a file on you, too. You can take a peek and see how she really treats her flock. Man, what's all this? Were you, like, sick? Conversion therapy? Did they... Oh, he is gay. Wanted to cure you from being... Pretty much. I always showed more interest in boys than girls. <laughs> they thought I was a freak. A sinner. Is that why you... ran away? Yep. <laughs> Took me five years to understand what was up. I was too scared, confused. I really did believe I was a sinner, so I thought I had to atone for my sins. And uh, how did that go? Not good. I just prayed all the time and stopped hanging out with boys, girls, everybody. I got depressed. Enough time to talk about it. Damn, Jake. After a few years, I was in a really bad place. Not the time to talk about it. I, I tried to hurt myself. Elizabeth was very upset. We had a long chat. She told me I should leave. Go see the world and figure things out. I, I don't really get her, Sean. You really? Not the time to talk about it. believe in all of this stuff. I had no clue about your life here. I'm... Dude, she's gonna walk in. I'm sorry, Jake. I'm sorry I brought Daniel here. I was just so blown away when I saw what he could do. 
It was like a real miracle. I, I thought I'd, I'd found my faith again. Instead, I, I just heard him. Then let's make things right. We just have to get Daniel out of here. I hope so. And I'll get my sister to a hospital. Have her treated. I hope they'll help her. Yeah. Anything would be better than here. Right. I just hope they can still cure her. What's up? You got company. That thug who works with Elizabeth. He's just holding some files. Doesn't seem to be on to you. This guy is dangerous, Sean. Hey, trust me. I have a good plan to get him out of your way. He'll give you more time. Just give me the word. No. Uh, it might be too dangerous. Uh, we'll figure it out. Okay. Sean, we gotta hide. Now. Um, make it look like you weren't here. Hurry up. Closet. Come on, Sean, we need to hide. We just did. Are you seriously not gonna hide, too? If he finds us here, we're screwed. Shit. No way to open this door. Can I not tell you to go in somewhere? I'm hiding in the closet. Better tell Elizabeth about this. Glad we didn't go in there. All right, let's see. What are you seeing? Okay. I'm starving. Oh, man, that was crazy. I really th Seriously, how can she ignore that? Okay. Fuck. Okay, we shouldn't be here. No, we shouldn't. I don't think there's anything worth a look in here. She's running a typed ship here. Is she actually scared of me? Better get Daniel out of here before she gets too much attention. Does she read anything else? All right, we need to get out of here. All right. I don't know if there's anything else to grab, but we're going to bolt out of here. Get out while the getting's good. So we're all good now? All clear. I'll go get Sarah Lee while you get Daniel. Then let's meet up at the car, okay? All right. You be careful, okay? You too, Sean. Good luck. Come in, Karen. See anything? No, you're all clear. Awesome. Talk oh. later. My lady's gone.
Hey. I found your letter for Jacob. Too bad Lisbeth found it first. She took it from the mail? Damn that woman. Um, do you want to go to the front door? I know she's right here. Accomplished? Yep. Now the hard part. Did you find what Jacob needed? Huh. And a whole lot more. Hey, I'm here if you need me, Sean. I know, Karen. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. Shall we go get her? If you got something else to say? Do you want to go front or back? Let's go back. Wait for Karen. Locked, of course. Well, that just screwed up my entering the back door. Maybe I'll be able to leave the back door. No, not. Know what you're gonna do? No. But let's do it. And provision. Oh Lord, let your power speak through this young vessel. I am your humble Sean. servant and will obey what the hell your is this? every command. Speak to me. It's Daniel. Speak. I told you he's kind of special. Hey, Sean, you came back? Enano, little cub. Come with me, Daniel. We're leaving. What? No, I'm not going anywhere. <sighs> she's full of shit, dude. And she's using you. Daniel has made his choice, Sean. But I'm offering you to join us again. Put your faith in me, and you'll be family. Never. So that's your final decision. May the Lord have mercy on your lost soul. It's time for you to leave our sanctuary right now. Not without my brother. I'm not going anywhere. This is my home. She's my family now. Daniel, listen. She's not your family. Sean, who is she? Our mother. Uh, she came here for you. Oh. Praise the Lord. Another miracle at our church. Wonderful. Uh, it's all right, Daniel. Go see her. I mean, she's right there. Don't be afraid. I... Uh, I don't know her. Of course. I know. This is hard for you, my son. Stop calling him that. You're just manipulating him, you sicko. <laughs> That's in the eye of the beholder. But since you are his mother, let me ask you. How could you let your child wander alone in the wilderness? Where you ask you the same when thing. Daniel was lost. Where? Listen, Daniel. I came here as soon as I found out you were here on your own. I'm not on my own. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from him. You were blessed with a divine gift. And you cast him out into the world. Who the hell are you? You might have been his mother once, but when you abandoned him, you also gave up your rights. Isn't your God all about forgiveness? You have no idea what the Bible says. How can you pretend uh, she probably knows to more than you these two children you left them and your husband to seek out your base desires Daniel honey she's trying to trick you please think by yourself you're smarter than this Daniel she's responsible for what happened to your father you don't know anything it was an accident that's what this world is about. Accidents, injustice, pain. 
I'm just so sorry, Daniel. I know. I know how much I hurt you and your brother by leaving. I know that's not enough, but... I hope we can talk about this together. That's what I've been trying to tell your brother, and I'm so glad he listened. You gotta trust us. She's using you for her selfish desires. Yeah, she is. Daniel, this time the choice is yours. Are you going to believe her or me? I... Uh, I... That's right. You can't tempt Daniel from this garden. He'll stay with us, his true family. And we'll never leave him. Go to hell. Come on, Daniel. No! Oh! Holy shit. Burning down the church that way. I knew it was going to happen one way or another. Reverend, are you okay? Nicholas, they're, they're heretics sent to desecrate our, our church. Okay, what now? Don't you understand? This is over, Sean. You have to talk to him. You can convince him, Sean. I won't leave you, Daniel. Not here. Don't be so stubborn, Sean. Your brother chose his path. Your friend, Sara Lee, she's very sick. And Lisbeth won't take her to a doctor. What? She wouldn't do this that. This is pointless. Daniel knows who to trust. She's not a real Christian. Think about Claire and Stephen. They have faith, but they would never endanger a little girl's life like that. That is but, true. Uh, she's always right. He's not been Why right once. Would she lie? Have faith in me, Daniel. I know what I'm doing. God is speaking to me and to you. Well, I'm speaking to you as the devil. She was kicked out of her previous church. Yeah, they knew she was crazy. So she left and founded Haven Point. Why would they do that? Did she do something wrong? Liar. I left on my own because they were all blind. Don't believe his lies, Daniel. A letter from Karen. I found a letter from Karen, our mother, inside her house. She hid it from you, so you never know she's looking for you. What? You told me she didn't want to see me. About time. What you have done? Hey, and I know. Back off. Oh, no one blow up that dude's head. Away from you. I said, stop. <sighs> Fucking murder him, Daniel. Don't. I came all this way for you, and nobody will stop me. I'll even cross hell or whatever if I need. Uh, Sean! He must learn. You must throw that dude into the fire along with that witch of Listen. a woman. I know I wasn't a great brother, I was an asshole. I should have never agreed to do that heist. It was stupid. Sean! Don't listen to him. He, he left you just like that harlot did. Shut him up. He can hit me as much as he wants. I won't give up on you. Don't hit him! <clears throat> Don't let them do that, Daniel. <laughs> Daniel's the only one who can stop him. Dan's gonna blow this church up. I would. We'd be in our living room in Seattle. That would get us pizza and snacks, then pick the movie because we would always fight about it. And he always picked your movie. But I can't do that. All I can do now is fight. Quiet! What are you waiting for? We're the best team in Anu. Stop so it! We have to keep going no. forward. What are you going to kill him? Please! He's my brother! You can burn down our church. 
but not our faith. Daniel knows you're telling the truth. Don't give up. Come on. Make Daniel blow up that dude's head. I want to see him Nothing suffer. It's going to stop me, Daniel. We're brothers. I know. Dad always said our blood link was the most important thing. You know. Uh, please. Uh, stop. Come please. on, Daniel. Daniel, listen to him. Stop. No matter what she does. I'll come right back. Again. And again. <laughs> I love you, Daniel. I do too. She shut him up now. Don't move. Just stop. If you want to kill me, then do it. I'm not afraid. Yo, you piece of shit. Shoot! Don't go ahead. What? Shoot me in the face. Let's say it. Now! Stop! Now it's time for you really to earn your murder charge. Someone else. I'm sorry. Sean, we need to get out of here. Now. Oh no. No. You started this fire. No, he did it. Don't intervene. She is bad. She's just... you just... she's dead. It was her or us. Open the door, then. Let's go. This adds on to the list of people Daniel's killed. But now he's 10, so he's past the age of reason, so he can actually be charged for it. But because of all this, Sarah Lee should have been saved. I'm assuming that it's playing a copyrighted song. He's the one who should have been left in there as well. Toss him back in, Daniel. Yeah, now the mom knows for sure that he's a murderer. Uh, 
hey, things had to happen. Jake is able to save his sister, get out of uh, the evil hands of his mother and dad. That was the episode. So, that was interesting. They titled it Faith. Well... With that, please let me know in the comment section what you think of uh, us choosing not to stop Daniel from killing her. That is, what, number three? Third person? Wait, he killed the cop. He killed a uh, dude in the grow house. Killed her. So yeah, he's killed three people now. Oh yeah, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video in the comment section. Tell me uh, what you think about Daniel killing the third person. And tell me what you think about us burning down the church. We ruined that dude's life. His wife's dead. His kids both abandoned him. But we took down a cult. And in the end, that's what really matters. So, we save Daniel, we save Sarah Lee, save Jacob. We're with Karen, so Daniel's actually gonna get to learn something about his mom for a change. They're still on the lam. FBI's looking for them. Daniel broke out of the hospital, but luckily he didn't take down joey or the guard i think that would have been so many more charges if he would have took down joey or the guard stupidest thing he could have done i still say is running from seattle he should have dealt with that now it actually looks like he is guilty of something daniel was below the age of reason at that time so he could have got away with everything because it was Daniel who did it. Big Bro didn't have any part of that. But I'm very curious what our decisions could have been. Passed one of the vision tests. Passed both. Failed both. Told Agent Flores the robbery was Finn's idea. It was Finn's idea. Uh, you escape the hospital without hurting anyone. 58, good. Bitch, Joey, I didn't know you actually could convince him to help you escape. You attack Joey. Stupidest idea I think you could have done. Attack the guard. Second stupid. Finn wasn't at the hospital. Wow, you could have say that. You didn't talk to Finn. 39% people in. You talked to Finn and blamed him for what happened. 8%. You talked to Finn and forgave him for what happened. You didn't try to take the toy back and didn't break it. Oh, that's good. You refused to sing and got beat up. You got into Anton's truck to reach Haven Point. Man, that walk would have been brutal. You didn't give money to the church. Overall, you tried to let Karen open up to you. You smoked a cigarette with Karen. You stayed outside with Karen when she smoked. You didn't stay outside with Karen. You accept Karen's help to clean up the wound. You use Karen's help and offer her help. You got Nicholas suspicious when she sneaking into Haven Point. Nicholas was unaware of your presence. You shared your money with Jacob. You didn't give any money to Jacob. No, that's our money. You got caught by Nicholas. You managed to hide from Nicholas. 
He let Daniel unleash his power on Lisbeth while he was hurting her. He shot Lisbeth while Daniel wasn't hurting her. Ooh. Yeah, we could have done that. He and Daniel both spared Lisbeth's life. He shot Lisbeth while Daniel was hurting her. Right, we kept Sean innocent through this whole thing. He has done nothing wrong. Technically, us even saying? trying to rob was we made it, Daniel. Just us trying to get our uh, we money we were owed. Make our way across. We're at the border. You ready? Yeah, I think. And we're gonna call it there. So please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, tell me what you think in the comment section, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.